this 8-bit, you little shit, that's right, pump, just rage and quit, I don't care, don't give a fuck, it is time for me to go level up, it's 8-bit, you little shit, that's right, pump, just rage and quit, I don't care, don't give a fuck, it is time for me to go level up. What can be said about Blues Brothers? It's hailed as one of the greatest movies of all time. What started off as a musical bit on SNL soon turned into an amazing movie that combines elements of comedy, crime movies, action, and of course, musicals. With all that said though, did it need a video game adaptation? Because as we've seen before on Swigga Game Reviews, those always turn out great, right? Let's start by talking about the first game, Blues Brothers on SNES. Yeah, let's take a movie from 1980 and make a game for it in 1993. The game is about the brothers getting sucked into a jukebox on the way to a concert, apparently. The game becomes a platformer where you're fighting things like giant bees, dogs, and lawnmowers named Tito. Or at least that's what I call them. Running from the police in the lawnmower. Now, obviously, these were things in the movie. I mean, come on. How can you not remember the classic gang chase by lawnmower sequence? Come on. With that out of the way, though, let's talk about the things that truly make this game suck. Every time you try and make your character stop, they always slide. Yeah, it's one of those games where you never really get proper footing because the ground makes you feel like you got frictionless fr 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 feet. There's also no keeping track of weapons, which are these records that you throw. Every time you start a new level, it's like you actively lose them, even when you're collecting a shit ton of them in the previous level. And sometimes when a level is too difficult, they almost never give you enough records where it's useful. And on top of that, there's a time limit. As for locations, you're wandering around the woods like a bunch of hippies, and you're also in underground sweatshop factories, including chains that you can never really hold on to when you're trying to jump. And there's also a dragon. Again, like in the movie, remember that scene? The classic dragon scene? The problem with this dragon is the fact that it never really obeys your controls. Even when you're pushing any of the directions for him to go, it actively tries to throw your fat ass off of it, often resulting in your death. Imagine if they pulled that kind of shit in a game like Super Mario World with Yoshi. It's fucking horse shit. Aye, aye, enough of this game. Let's try and wash this game down with a game that's even worse. Blues Brothers 2000s for Nintendo 64. Before we talk about the game, I'ma just throw this in. Who asked for this? Who asked for a sequel to Blues Brothers years after the first one? John Belushi wasn't even alive to do it, and most of the stuff in the first one is basically counted as pointless, so why the fuck make it? As for the game, it don't hold up much better. The game is basically another wannabe platformer, but this time it rips off N64 titles like Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, DK64, and shit like that. But like a lot of other bad games on the system, it sucks in so many different ways. First off, the game is insanely repetitive with you going from prison to the city to the sewer. Rinse, repeat. Secondly, the gameplay is basically just a series of bullshit multitasking and backpedaling. And it's always some shit like you gotta run across town to find a stop sign that makes a truck stop so then you can jump on top of the truck for platforms. Thirdly, the graphics suck. I know everyone likes to dogpile on N64 for that, but compared to other N64 titles, this looks like shit. Can you seriously take the Blues Brothers serious when they look like this? And for that, you have to thank the company Ready Player One, who also are responsible for a shitty Hercules game on N64. I'm pretty sure John Tron talked about it, I, I think. Fourthly, there's a lot of bonus mission shit in this that just feels like they threw shit at a wall and saw what stuck. Lame shit like, the puzzle mini game, or the stealth level, or Dance Dance Revolution knockoff, or the previously mentioned find stop sign for truck, bullshit like that. A lot of it just shows they had no idea for this game, thinking that people were only gonna buy it because of the movie, which of course didn't work, because no one wanted to see Blues Brothers 2000. I think this pretty much summarizes how shit this game is. This game wasn't even sold in stores. They had to sell it as rentals at Blockbuster Video back in the day. So yeah, everybody go thank Adam Sykes at the Blockbuster Show for this shit. Thank you for watching this month's Swig of Game Review. Earlier this month, I released a parody of Ariana Grande's Don't Call Me Angel, but it was called Don't Call Me Boomer. And it was about boomers versus millennials. If you want to check that out, if you haven't already seen it. And coming up soon this month, uh, we're going to be doing a Swig Talk with the Hero of Tomorrow on YouTube. Going to see if we can try and make Swig Talk uh, monthly instead of bi-monthly. Can't make any promises yet, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, thank you all for checking this out, and fuck these games.